A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Darkness Falls mod. So during the night I actually went and mined a little bit next to the trade over here. Um, I basically right next to us over here went underneath the trader all the way to there and then from there all the way to there. So that's quite a lot of distance that I covered. I basically have 10,000 uh, stone and I went and made some more cobble over here. And as the cobble finishes, I'm turning it into more shapes, more blocks. Basically, my goal is to make a base that's about 11 blocks high. And then as soon as the traders actually sell concrete mix, I want to go and buy that. You are just a, th a former thug. Oops. Oh, there's a hole over there. I didn't realize. That's not good. Um, I'm actually kind of worried because I did not get a wandering horde during night time. Or I might have gotten one and they were just all over the place. Uh, perhaps they actually passed by. I have no idea how deep a wandering horde can go. Basically, I want to show you guys this. Please don't spawn my head right now. Look how deep this is. Catch ladder. Whoops, almost broke my leg. Catch ladder over here. You run all the way to this side over here. And if you turn over here, it goes all the way to over there. So it basically goes to there. Uh, yeah, but basically, I, I was just doing that the whole night long. I had to repair my uh, pick like two times. 10,000 stones, quite a lot. Um, I actually want to see if I can't make some concrete mix as well. Because I did put a point into concrete mixing. So we need to see if we can't... Oh, it's almost f uh, five. Ooh, every time it turns like an extra hour. I want to be back at my base just in case that wandering ward spawns in. I didn't even realize this was damaged over here. Because they took that block out. They also took this one out. Now that's in the way. Okay, let's really start this quest over here. Or uh, get a quest before Wandering Wood comes in. So what if I want to run for? away, we actually have a quest to do. Year 4, yes! Silence of you Lambs, easiest me. to do. Basically, if you want an easy quest that you know you're going to be able to do, take Silence of the Lambs. It spawns in uh, screamers that can't spawn in anything. So they'll scream and they'll, they'll do the whole screamer thing, but you don't have to worry about, oh no, they're going to spawn in an army that I can't deal the with. Best prices in the wasteland. Okay, I need to open trade routes. But I also want to see every time they reset. Today's day 16, so they should have new resources. I wonder if I shouldn't go to Anna's place as well. Bite you in the ass on your way out. And if he does, hey, we'll take care of it for you. Oh, will you now? It bites me in the ass even. Damn, girl. Okay, so, um, yeah. I want to go uh, question Eve. Or uh, introduce myself to Eve. I also want to go get this treasure map over here. And then that trader open, uh, open trade routes that we just got. Where is that? Open trade routes. Oh, it's in town of Eve. Wait, yeah. It's across the road over there. I wonder if we shouldn't live here. I want to go check this out first. The reason I say that is, I know that the wasteland is on this side of here, but I think it's like a small city. It's not much. But if we can set up in a trader, remember, we have this place over here now. But when I have the resources, I want to see if I can't make a base that's 11 blocks high. The reason for that, for those of you that don't know, if a base is 11 blocks high and a zombie falls down, it doesn't really aggro much. So it just keeps pathing and pathing and pathing. Also, I think the reason the stuff was vomiting from over here and, I, uh, and they actually vomited through everything is because of that. They were able to see me through the corner block over here and still vomit at us. So, but yeah, anyways, uh, when we have enough blocks, I want to move. I can either just take uh, care of all of this, like get rid of all of it and build a new thing. Or since the trader has been destroyed so much, go to a new trader. It's close to Razor's compound, close to a few things, and just take that over. But I want to see what is in that vicinity over there. I'm not feeling that great at the moment, so I'm, I apologize if my voice sounds weird. Kind of forcing my voice out to make sure that it sounds even. Okay, put this away. I think I'm going to put away this as well for now. Um, I should probably also keep a little bit of cobble on me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Put the output. Do that. Boom. I want to make sure we have like at least like 500 blocks of cobble before I even, dis uh, like, even consider making a new base. I also, for some reason, I'm getting confused inside here. Yeah. Oh, also, we had like 200 um, oil shale. I turned that into some gas cans. Now we can fill up our minibike. We don't have to worry too much. 
Okay, we have blocks over here as well. We have some forged iron. We have over here. See, I want to see if I can't make myself a mixer. If we can start making ourselves some concrete mixers and stuff and actually making concrete. Because we have the stone, we have the cement, and we have some sand. I could even go and turn some of the stone into sand and then just keep my eyes open for cement. I could make more cement, but it's a little bit costly inside the, the forges. So one, two, three, four, five... And I also want to go, like I said, I'm going to fill my vehicle up with this, so it doesn't matter if I lock that or not. And then I need to make more concrete mix. I think let's make enough. Oh, I don't have enough. No, I don't have clay. And the trader didn't seem like she was selling any. Damn it. I really need clay right now. Sometimes I actually realize <laughs> I have the bad habit of dropping stuff in the wrong container. And then later, either through a comment or just me going through my boxes, I'm like, oh, wow, there's something in this box that's not supposed to be here. Usually it's like wood and resources that I put with food. Okay, we'll just do that. So that filled up. We have one Molotov. Like I said, it's been a while since we actually had any wandering hordes. So I'm kind of terrified at the moment. Well, if I can buy 15 for forged eyes. iron right there, that'd be awesome. Can I get you? Nope. Cement, yeah. Yes, 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 yes for the cement. Better. Oh, do we have anything we can sell? If the new trader has something we can actually grab, that will really be awesome. But first we have to find something we can actually sell to that trader. I don't think we actually really have... We do have a ton of batteries and engines and stuff. Uh, This sells 1.3. Technically, I need to keep this bike. Because if, my, if I die and I need to get back to my motorcycle, I need something. But the map is small enough, so that doesn't matter too much. So I'm going to sell this one for a little bit of extra cash. I just need to make that concrete mixer. Someone said over here, this is like Central Park or something. So this over here is in between massive... Look at that. There's a place over there, place over there. I didn't even realize this last time. I think it was in a previous map or something. Someone mentioned this. Because I was like, oh, wow. Why is there uh, snow trees all around us? Uh, uh, all around us over here. And someone actually said, yeah, but that was like Central Park. It's in the middle of a ton of awesome POIs. And now that they mention it, now I can see, oh, wow. The awesome part is that is actually super flat ground as well. Look at that. So technically, you can make your base in the middle over there. You have to be careful, though, depending on the POI, because it's going to be super, super dangerous. Nice, it's him. Okay, I wonder. The trade... Oh, we have to hurry up now. Um, if a wandering horde comes through now, they're going to wreck this place. I wouldn't want to live inside this trader's grounds. Ooh, blueberries and coffee. Oh, wow. 10 steel. Nice. The only problem I have with this trader is the fact that it has wooden walls. And if a zombie destroys a wall, it destroys like a 3x3 three three section. So it's kind of dangerous for us to be uh, to even be over here. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Collect. Resources. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, we can buy 25 more. We can sell the mini bike. It's a shame we don't get fuel back because I know there was more fuel in there. Okay, military fibers. I need 10. Ooh, but that uses all of our cash. I need 10 of that because I want to make myself a basic tactical rigging. That's going to allow us to carry like five more items over here without being encumbered. Blue, 800. Damn, some of these things are just expensive. Oh, I still haven't finished the last quest for the hunter class. Now that I see the armor over here. We have to basically wear padded gear. And I think we have all the padded gear at our base. We just have to actually go and put it on and then put it back in portable lathe. Usually we find this in drops, but I'm not facing any horde knights. So it's going to be a little bit harder to find it. This we can set. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We need to focus on getting more of these. I'll rather lockpick than use time charges. It's too noisy. But basically, our goal should be getting exploding crossbow bolts. Or just buying these and making our own. Yeah, I think let's do it this way around. Because with the exploding crossbow bolts, you have to use steel rounds. And then I also want to make myself... The next class we're going to go for is definitely going to be the mechanic class. Because I want to be able to make my own robotic turrets. And these things are a man's time. best friend, basically. <laughs> if you have these, you don't have to worry about a thing. Because they... Oh, no, 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 you don't have to not worry, but in Darkest Falls, you can put darts, uh, dart trap ammo, iron darts inside the turret. So instead of just having normal junk turret ammo, it actually has ammo that does damage to the enemies. 
get it. I'll just get a little bit of honey as well. I want to hit up a small bookstore. I think close to us by Jen, there is a bookstore that I tried hitting up. I had a ton of ferals and stuff in last time we did it. If I can clear that place out and get all the books over there, we might get enough for like two or three classes. But I think the Wandering Wards only sh That scared the crap out of me. I couldn't even close the door properly. As I was saying, I think the Wandering Wards only come... Holy crap. <laughs> I was about to say the Wandering Wards, I think, only come like on the hour every hour. And then all of a sudden I see something charging at me. I was like, oh no, one oh no, it's not a wandering ward. Oh, okay, so I wanna gas this up. I'm gonna go and drop some stuff. Let's go. I wanna get the feel over here. Oh, there's a cracker book as well. Yeah, the zombies are attacking in the corner over there, so they're gonna break in with any moment now. Okay, yeah, uh police vehicles should probably wrench more of those. There's a stage over there. There's one POI that was in War of the Walkers that looked like a stage like that. And the amount of zombies spawning in that place is just scary. Okay, let's see if I can quickly lockpick this. Since we're out in the open, you have to really hurry this. For those of you guys wondering how I'm doing it so fast sometimes, I basically spam D. I start with A all the way to the left. Then I, I, I hit spacebar, just I tap it. Because you can actually see if something's moving or not. If you hear that it's stuck, you just keep hitting D like three times, try it again. Three times, try it again. And after a while, you'll be able to open it up, no problem at all. Oh, working stuff's over here, there might be crowbars. But we haven't had a wandering horde yet. Oh, that's a fake trader. This is such a fake trader. You can actually see the smoke from the inside as well. And we just had Joel over there, so this can't be another Joel. Bus stop. I'm so tempted for those working stiffs. But we haven't had a wandering horde yet in a while, so I have to keep my eyes open and ears open. This might be super, super dangerous. Oh, we didn't bring any... Oh, I should bring a crossbow. We have the arrows, but we don't have a crossbow on us. Did I drop it, perhaps? I need to snipe... Nah, it's not going to work right now. I need to snipe them from a distance. And using a gun is going to wake everyone up, so that's just way too dangerous. But since we have so many of these police vehicles, we can just all really stop for them. If I can find some really awesome ammo. I hear footsteps. Just please don't let me hear the vomit sound. Sometimes you have to guess which side is actually going to unlock. But yeah, apparently we got... I think I mentioned this before, but the reason we got a demon in that one quest was because of the fact that it was feral sense. No, no, uh, infested. It was infested. So because it's infested, even though it's a tier 2, we had a demon show up. So the cure to that, the fix to that, is to make sure that we actually just do tier 4, more, more tier 4 quests for the scout. Look at that, the wasteland's right there. It's across the water, which is also awesome. We don't accidentally drive into it. But yeah, as long as we can do these tier 4 quests for the, the scouts, we can actually get double rewards in coil. Because from tier 4, we start getting coil. So after we do the scout quest now, we're going to start getting coil weapons, which I can't wait for. Okay, there's definitely fuel over there. I need to be careful how close I also pass up zombies. If I'm accidentally too close to the zombie, it's going to smack me while I'm on the bike. And with 153 HP, it's going to instantly kill me. I think there was a tourist of you earlier, wasn't there? Either way, be careful. I haven't seen any signs of any wandering hordes, and it's giving me the creeps. But yeah, if you can make a base right in the middle of you, if this was like a, a horde night kind of episode or street uh, series, I'd actually make bases right in the middle of the city of here. Because then you're in between that trader and kind of this trader. Not exactly in the middle, but it would be a fun series. Empty, empty, empty. It would be a fun series being in the middle of a city and then just having that. Okay, there's another bookstore over here. I think that one was an A21 one and this one an A19. I seriously need some books, but it's too dangerous at the moment. I know I'm going to get demons inside a tier 5 BOI. If a tier 2 infested can give you demons, I think a tier 5 normal will also start giving you demons or behemoths and stuff. We have to start being careful though now because these are tier 4s and they're going to be radiated and stuff. Technically, I want to do this. Do this, because we're going to jump on top, and then we're going to use cobble. 
Even though they are way weaker, um, since they are insane difficulty, we don't want them killing us over here. So we're going to use a fire, get the HP down, and then we use a uh, explosive. Remember, explosives can do damage. Yeah, look at that. It just did damage to us. So we have to be incredibly careful not to accidentally do damage to ourselves. I wonder if I follow this road up, whether we'll be able to get to the treasure. There's a treasure there, there's a treasure there, and then Eve is going to be in the snow. So I think we have to go up the road over here. I want to be really, really, really careful right now of that wandering horde coming in. I, have, I thought I heard someone drop some loot just now. Was that my imagination? It sounded like one of them dropped a bag of loot just now. Okay, anyways, let's quickly go up the hill. I should probably also carry a, carry a repair tool with me. So if I see via, uh, if I see like a, a frame like that, that's still... You can pick it up, but you just have to repair it. Just do it. At the moment, I keep on making frames and making frames. We can easily just go and make ourselves more frames. But that's not the point. We're going to be running out of wood soon if we just keep doing that. I made an oopsie. I stopped to check my map just now and I got caught on the side of that hill. That hill is massive. It's huge, man. It's huge. Okay, it seems there's almost nothing over here, so we have to be careful. Is this just like a small settlement? It doesn't seem like a town or a village or something. Oh, we do need to get to that treasure over there. I need to be so careful right now. In the snow biome in Darkest Falls, there are not just mountain lions. There are dire wolves, bears, and um, uh, mountain lions. So mountain lions, bears, and uh, dire wolves. And the dire wolves especially, they can really do damage to you. The nice thing is since this is a snow biome... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oops. I was about to say, since this is the snow biome... Damn it. Please don't get stuck on the hill. Um, it's going to be easy breaking the blocks, but now that I know that it's desert... I have to dig over here and it's desert. That's going to be dangerous. At least there should be a trade over here as well, so if we can complete open trade routes, that would be awesome. Please tell me the dirt's going to be super easy to dig. Damn it. Two, it's still just two shots, so it's easy enough. Oh, there's a mountain lion coming closer. I need, to, I need to have a turn around and I'm going to shoot her in the face. And then we have to start digging over here. It seems like it's moving away though. Sh should I really? Now I'm just going to call the attention of that um, security dude. Or that bad dude. Hawaiian dude. So we have to dig down. I need to be careful though because the, uh, the heat in Darkest Falls is no joke. And certain clothing only work for certain biomes. So I can easily get a heat stroke over here because I don't have the right clothes on. I heard footsteps. Oh, I'm right. Holy crap. I heard a ton of footsteps all of a sudden. There's a demo over here. I want to see what's spawning in right now. Holy crap. Okay, so the nice thing in Darkest Falls is even if you drive away from like treasures and stuff. who it doesn't fail. So even if you're doing like a quest for the trader. It just doesn't fail on you. That is awesome. But I just, I heard a ton of noise. I was like, please let, uh, I also felt stutter and I heard a ton of footsteps. I was like, I have to get out of here. <laughs> I barely started digging just now. Okay, I wonder if I can lure them away from this hole over here. Most of them started pathing through. Are yeah, they going towards my hole over here? Come on, come on. There you go. I'm going to try and lure them away. Let's just first go and find that trader then. Hopefully by the time I get back to this chunk, they're gone. Because I need that those treasures. Especially if this trader actually has something to sell us. We really, really, really need the cash. Oh, I'm so glad that even though the map runs smooth, every time there's a wandering horde spawning in, it just gives that slight lag. So it's like a, a small precursor to, okay, watch out, you might be in danger. And just now that saved my bacon. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Too far. Nope. Okay, perfect. That delay is gonna kill me one day. It takes forever sometimes to get into the vehicle after you've lockpicked it. Nice, 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 nice. There's a few tier 5 and tier 6 POIs over here. There has to be a trader too, so I just don't really find it. But every single police vehicle I come across, we have to also lockpick. If I can get more 7.62 ammo this way, why not? 
This is awesome. This desert town is basically like a hub for tier 4 and tier 5 POIs. There's even over there a massive uh, airport. There's a control tower over there. I think it's... It might, there might actually be two different POIs over there. It looks like one though. Come on. If I can just get myself some easy books as well. It's sweltering at the moment. So I need to get to a trader and see if I can find some red tea. Because I know red tea sometimes really helps with the heat. It helps cool you down. Okay, there's a police vehicle over there. This place is one of the places early game that I like visiting the least. <laughs> because inside, there's so many soldiers and stuff. And at my game stage right now, we'll be screwed if I actually go there. Okay, there might be oil shale. And oil co POIs over here. But I can't afford to stop right now. Where's the trader? There's a bookstore over here, but once again, we don't have even have our crossbow over here. Oh, I think this is the one. Where, you remember how I said, uh, I keep saying in different series that that thing over there has three variants. That one's fully loaded, and then it looks like there's one section that's broken. Yeah, so there, over there's a ton of oil shale. Usually we see the full one or we see the broken one, but we never see this one. That one definitely has some oil shale over there. But the problem is, I don't know what is there, and we don't really have a ton of... If I just had an auger, you just quickly do a little bit of damage over there, we can pick up a ton of oil shale in no time. But at least now that we've found the desert, we can easily come and mine over here for more oil shale. My food and water is decreasing so fast because of this heat. Paxco building. This thing over here, for those of you guys that don't know, has so much resources. Uh, basically, there are massive rooms at the back. That's full of stone. That's full of cement. That's full of cobble. But it's so incredibly dangerous inside. So just be really, really careful when you go over here. I think what we did in... What was the series? In Ravenist. We basically counted over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I break through over here... 5,000 HP. If I break through over there, we can get the final stashes behind the resources. Basically, behind each and every one of those rooms, massive stacks of resources, there's a potential um, hidden stash or gun stash or tools. Where I just hit, there's a uh, opened uh, hot and chest. Are you seriously telling me there's no trade over here? I've been driving back and forth, but I'm not really paying attention because I'm just so f uh, focused on the map. Okay, let's just go and see whether this is actually done over here. If that wandering horde is gone, we can quickly climb on the ground, just get the treasure. And then after we got the treasure, we'll have the cash to go and talk to the trader. I think the trader might be all the way south because on the north side of here, I don't see anything on the map. Okay, it seems there's still a few zombies from the wandering horde over here. Fighting them right now would be a mistake, because if you fight them... Look at them, feral radiated. If you fight them right now, they might just uh, end up hitting us accidentally off the bike. I just want to lure them away, basically. And also, because of the gun that I'm using, it's going to make so much noise, it'll definitely call in like a screamer or something. Killing those radiated uh, ferals is no joke. They are insanely tough. Oh, this just seems to lead out of the town. I should probably follow one of these roads back to be able to get away from here, right? Then where the hell's this trader? But okay, there seems to be a Wild West section over here as well. Now the nice thing about these POIs is, especially if you go past the backside, there's sometimes a lot of uh, like gas barrels and stuff like that. Nice level up. But the unfortunate thing about these small ones is the fact that there's no trader. So if, the, if there is a oh, there's a trader right there. Trader wrecked. Come on, come on, come on. I was about to say, in a wild, small wild west settlement like this, there's no trader. I oh, know that salvage pass. That looks like a wrecked or bob. But once, once you start going to a city like this, there should be a trader over here in one of these cities. And so far, I haven't found this one's trader. I'm so tempted to go for these oil co uh, things over here. These ones have just normal barrels at the back. But then this one over here, like I said, um, this one has oil shale. Is it this one? Yes, it is. Look at the backside of here. I've been looking for this in my Ravener series. Basically, there's oil shade over there, and I think there's even in the middle over there. If I had a crossbow right there, I might actually attempt to just snipe these guys and then grab that. But I think for now, let's just get going. Unfortunately, I can't find a trader. The trader might actually be like over here or something. 
We are going to go this way now anyways for the treasure map. So let's just see if we can find the trader. I want to go talk to Eve and I still want to go hand in this quest for the scout quest that we did. Oh, when did the... Tr oh, I didn't pay attention to when the Wandering Horde came through. Okay, I just heard footsteps getting close. I was like, please, 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 please. Yes, nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, there's an airdrop over here somewhere. I wonder if that airdrop is over here by us. No, it's uh, it's an R city. Okay, cool. It's close to the... Oh, I think it's actually close to the one treasure that I want to go and find. If we can get that airdrop as well, possibly, and hopefully get, start getting some awesome stuff from that. Sometimes you have a chance if you're really lucky to get a mastery book out of the airdrops as well. That's why the survivalist class that I have, you can actually even uh, spec into... Oh, there's boxes right here. Survivalist class I have... Oh, crap. Oh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, but yeah, survivalist class I have, you can actually make uh, flares. And you can call in airdrops that way. And the more supply drops you get, the more chance of like um, uh, mastery books and stuff you have. But it's a little bit expensive and doesn't always work, unfortunately. Let's go for this treasure map. Oh, wow. There's an actual mine over here. Oops. But it seems the mine is protected by a wolfie. Please lose track of me. I really don't want to fight a wolf right now. Are you feral? Yeah. Okay, so I'm hoping the rest of the Wandering Ward actually despawned. There seems to be another radiated over there, but most of them seem to be far away and the soldiers over there. Please, I need to get this treasure. I can't deal with you guys now as well. See, if I can get lucky and get a, a working stiff crate with a crowbar and we can open up this in one power attack. I was lucky enough to actually dig in the right direction just now, but I won't always be that lucky. Okay, it seems that Eve is that way. I don't know where I'm going right now. This treasure map might be upstairs with the airdrop, but it's, this feels like just a massive canyon. It feels like I'm supposed to be on that bridge up top to be able to get to Eve, so did I take a wrong turn somewhere? I think I must have gone from that side instead and to get all the way over. This is one of the biggest treasures that I had to go dig for. Oh, nice. I have dug so much of here just trying to find where this treasure is going to shrink to. Now to get out of here be on this side somewhere oh yeah okay, okay cool cool um i'm actually thinking of going for this treasure and then going down over here and seeing if there's a road that leads over here it seems we should have gone over there turned there and then instead of going down to the desert biome over here we had to go down over here and then reach all the way over the bridge go to eve i might actually just climb the the ridge over here and just drive straight to her i think that's gonna be basically the fastest thing for us now although because of the colds we can't really do that since it's so cold over here, um, our stamina runs out really, really fast. But if I can actually manage to do it, then why not? Okay, unfortunately, it seems we are on the edge of here. Ooh, there's a real boat over here. Damn, okay. But yeah, there's no hill, there's no road that leads up. Unfortunately, I just realized I can't even pick up my vehicle because with it, I'm like 24, 25 items encumbered. So I'm going to have to go get the treasure first. Go all the way past, go back, and then go over again. And then on the way back, I can just drive down the hill. There's nice flat terrains of here. It would make a really cool base here. If I could make my base in the forest biome and my horde uh, slash wandering horde base in the snow biome, that way, if there's a wandering horde that comes and we can kill it in the snow, we can actually get way better loot as well. So even though there's no real horde knight, we can still get some really good loot. Okay, please, 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 Marshy Book. Damn it, man. We need to start getting Marshy Books now, too. I mean, I could just save up 10 points and use that, but at the same time, who wants to waste 10 points like that? At the moment, there's other stuff that we can actually invest in. Okay, so turn right over there, turn right, and turn right again. Damn, all of these pure eyes are no joke. Over there, there's cops in the middle of the room, usually, uh, and then this is going to be even worse. And then over here, in the tower... And over here, underneath, because there's a mine underneath. There's a lot of awesome loot down there. But, uh, yeah, uh, except for the loot, there's an insane amount of, like, behemoths and bosses and stuff down there, too. 
This is another fake trader because otherwise it actually would have shown the name. Who knows? Perhaps you have to go inside before it shows. I'm not going to take that chance. Thank you. Another city over here. Yeah, that might be the trader, but usually the trader is on the inside of the town over here. If I keep going this direction, will I finally find Eve? You have to turn left. Oh, this place especially is super bad. I've noticed there are a lot of epic, insane POIs on this map. Like, every single town has some badass POIs. Some really, really dangerous POIs. But, it's fun. <laughs> There's a lot of... Oh, this place! Back before there was a demon lord, if you go inside over there, there used to be demon bosses already inside early, 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 early on. That place was super unbalanced. Last dope silos. Yeah, no, this is asking for trouble to just live here. Before the Wandering Ward comes through again, it's just going to open trade routes. Well, color me impressed. Get some ammo. Let's go for some 9 more ammo. Do you have any jobs? Her first, uh, her third job, doing a small bunker, is going to be insane. Nice, the test isn't all by him. Okay, I wonder if I can just drive down over there. I'll see if I can't just take that ramp straight down and go back to the base. Although, it's probably going to be safer just taking the actual road and need, uh, going back down. You don't want to take any chances right now and then either explode the bike or get stuck somewhere. Especially since it's almost night time. But yeah, her third quest is going to be to clear the small bunker. And at the moment on this difficulty, I have no idea how we're going to do that. It's a headshot only because of, in, uh, because of the insane difficulty. And yeah, basically most of the zombies are feral, they're radiated, and they're just going to smack the hell out of us. No, I'm actually going to try and ramp off of here. This is super dumb. Oh, please don't die, 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 please don't die. Oof. Awesome. Oh, wow, check my HP. I was looking at the vehicle's HP. I wasn't looking at my own HP. Oh, that was dangerous. Oh, hello, bear. Man, I wish I could kill you right now, because but all of these zombies will interfere right now. Okay, now we just go up and back to our base. I want to quickly hand in the scout quest before I say goodbye. Because I want to see what the reward is going to be for doing the scout quest. Hopefully a ton of coil ammo. Or wep- no, coil weapons, not ammo. I need a coil weapon, please, please, please. Okay, quickly, 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 before zombies interrupt. You? Damn it. Okay, and notes. I should probably take- um, you know what, instead of taking that, let's take the notes and this. This we can turn into explosive bolts. Any jobs? Lumberjack, I'm can okay. Okay, now we have to, for that one, we're going to have to use a ton of explosives and fire. Because they are tough. Like, really, 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 really tough. Okay, so it is, oh, possible time for another Wandering Ward. I need to be careful. Especially since I'm so encumbered and my HP is doing so low. But you guys, I'm going to call it episode. Yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of inventory management. Whew, okay, that was a little bit, a lot of nothing. <laughs> we did a quest, we at least explored an awesome new city, and we got some really cool POIs over here. But overall, I'm really excited for this map. I wonder still though if I shouldn't go and live by Joel's place over there or in Central Park and then every now and then just go say hi to Joel. And then the wasteland's right across the road over there. So we could even go and live like in the middle of this, uh, the road over there or over there and make like a thing that goes all the way over to Joel's place so we can go and visit him. Or we can dig to his place and just go up and make like a solid wall inside so the zombies can't get to us. But yeah, hopefully next time I'll be feeling a little bit better because I am getting sick. This is still the weekend. So, yeah, I need to edit. I need to, uh, I'm going to the doctor later to see what's wrong. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys liked this, ep uh, this episode, please like it with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, gain access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my seminars that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.